Two of five juveniles in custody in connection with the killing of a 64 year old Omaha man late Tuesday night did appear in court today. 14 year old Joseph Keyes and 17 year old Trenton, Trenton Titsworth Hunt will be tried as adults. Prosecutors believe the two and three other juveniles, one 11 years old, were in a stolen car when they robbed a person at a West Omaha convenience store before later gunning down Mercer Jamma. John Chapman was in the court this morning when the judge ordered both Keys and Titsworth Hunt to be held without bail. 14 year old Joseph Keys should be in a classroom listening to his teacher. Instead, he's in a courtroom listening to a judge reading six felony charges filed against him. Count one is robbery. That particular charge carries one to 50 years in prison. Counts two and two, four and six are three counts of use of firearm to commit a felony. Each one of those three charges carries minimum five years, maximum 50 years in prison. Um, count three is another robbery charge, so that is another one to 50 years in prison. And the final count is murder in the first degree. Uh, that particular charge carries a life sentence. Keys is one of five juveniles charged in the murder of 64-year-old Mercer Jama. Jama was shot and later died in the hospital. Keys is being tried as an adult. So is 17-year-old Trenton Titsworth Hunt. He also faces first-degree murder charges. Prosecutors tell the judge this isn't the first time he's been in a courtroom. The youth are becoming younger and younger. Tamika Meese is the executive director of North Omaha Community Partnership. With, Her organization you know, works with at-risk youth and their families. She tells us she's seeing younger and younger juvenile defendants. And the trends are they'll start off with the first police contact with, you know, small things like stealing cars. They'll be booked and released, and then they'll come back for stealing another car. And then once they come back after that, it's a more serious offense and oftentimes more violent offenses. In court, prosecutors revealed that one of the young suspects was allegedly seen with a gun loaded with an extended magazine. Mies believes making programs and services that help troubled juveniles and their families mandatory might help reduce the number of youngsters that have to sit before a judge. I would say 99% of the youth that we work with, when we work with their families and interact with them, they were already in the middle of a crisis. They were already experiencing trauma. Their home is not stabilized. Me says she connects with troubled kids because she was once a troubled kid herself. It's just heartbreaking to, to witness, you know, a kid that you've worked with go through this and to know that it could have been prevented if the program and services were taken more seriously. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Both Titsworth Hunt and Keys will have preliminary hearings on September 17th.